Mutinous soldiers in Niger have overthrown the country's democratically elected president. They took to state television on Friday and said that a man who goes by the name of General Omar Chani is now in charge of the country. Chani is head of the Presidential Guard, and they say that he is the one who spearheaded this coup, which began a few days ago when members of the Guard surrounded President Mohamed Bozoum's house, detained him, and then since then talks have been ongoing between the Presidential Guard and members of the army in terms of who was going to take charge of the country. The coup leaders said they did this because Bazoum was unable to secure the nation from growing jihadi violence that has racked Niger as well as neighboring Burkina Faso and Mali for years. But this analysts say comes as a huge blow to many in the international community who saw Niger as one of the last hopes as a country they could partner with in the Sahel. It's one of the last democratic run countries in the Sahel and people were throwing millions of dollars of military aid and assistance into Niger in order to help them beat back the jihadi threat. It's unclear now if these new coup leaders will stay with their current partners or if there might be a shift to other partners such as Russia and their Wagner mercenary group, which is already operating in Mali. There are fears that they might be going into Burkina Faso. And now there is concern that Niger might follow in that, in that path. Already on the streets of Niamey in the capital, people have been outside waving Russian flags, saying that they welcome Wagner, they want Russia to come, and they want the French to leave. People say that they're angry with the insecurity in the country. It's unclear right now how much support Bazoum still does have. He has yet to resign. And so there is still a lot of uncertainty moving forward.